Welcome back, spooky fam, to Chamber of Horrors. I'm Mercy Desdemona, and tonight's picture is A House on the Bayou. Now, when you first read the description of it, it kind of sounds like one of those cheesy Lifetime Movie Network um, whiny movies. And when it first starts off, I'm not going to lie, it kind of starts off like that. However, if you stick through it, you will not be disappointed as always, there's spoilers in my reviews, but they don't do the film justice, so please actually check out the film. Okay? Okay. Anyway, so this wife finds out that her husband has not been faithful, he's been cheating on her with one of his students, and of course everything is going crazy, so she's like, hey, you know what? I'm stressed out about this, I might be feeling a little crazy, so instead of ending up on Deadly Women, we're going to go on vacation in a secluded area so we can work out our problems and act like a family. And once we return, we will handle our business and, and go with the madness, okay? So they find this extravagant house. She's a realtor and she's supposed to eventually, I guess, be selling this house, as I believe that's what was mentioned in the movie. And, you know, it's very beautiful and they're relaxing. And, of course, the parents are kind of low-key bickering and all that stuff. You know, the daughter could tell that there's some weird stuff going on. You know, typical story. However, they've taken this typical base story and made it into an interesting kind of a supernaturalish uh, story. So, throughout this whole time, we end up meeting these two weird guys, Isaac and Pappy, and they seem to be annoying, weird neighbors that just won't mind their business, right? They come onto the scene, they're kind of weird and creepy, and this is where you probably might think that it's going to take a slasher-type turn. However, that is not the case, my friends, which is why this movie actually gets an 8 out of 10 on the spooky fam scale. Just saying, it's it's really difficult to get an 8 out of 10, and, and they did it with this one. Anyway, so Isaac's being a little flirtatious with the daughter. She's all like, hee hee hoo 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 hoo, you know, and Pappy's just being a Pappy, weird and strange, you know. And they invite themselves over to dinner, and that's when things start getting really weird. They're extra pushy. And then we start to find out that somehow they're aware of. The father's dark deeds and that there were more than just the cheating his overall you know character he's just like an evil dude right and the mom and the daughter they don't know what the heck's going on they're just trying to survive so this is where you're like thinking that you know it's going to be a slasher type thing because the family's locked in the house with these weirdos and like, there's this one scene where, like, they're playing music, but it turns out to be the student that he's cheating on the wife with a phone call, and all these, like, weird supernatural things started happening, and the dad's like, freaking out, of course, because he's guilty ASF. <laughs> and, you know, things just unravel from there. The chick even shows up, and something happens to her, like, these people are totally psycho, and you think that they're gonna go after the mom and the daughter too, because hey, in these stories, that's all that happens, you know? No! So, the mom and daughter escaped the madness, right? They thought that they shot Isaac and Pappy, and they thought, okay, we, we got clear, let's go, we're gonna go to the police, we're gonna set this stuff straight. But little did they know that the police have been using the phantom Isaac and Pappy for a long time to rid the world of some shady characters. And it was such a twisted ending. It turns out the house really wasn't there and all this good stuff. My spoilers don't do this film justice. If you have seen the film, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. If you're going to watch it, let me know. Hit the like button if you are a weird kid, grown weird adult, and you like all things spooky, crazy, and creepy, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check out our Twitch, link in the description below. I'll see you next time on Chamber of Horrors, and big shout out to Nick from Dark Mage 4 Productions, who created our new theme song.
see you guys later. Bye.